A well-known Niagara winery up in flames. The dramatic images recorded last night as Herndor Estate Wines in St. Catharines caught fire. This is a look at the massive blaze from above. The fire chief telling us the portion of the facility that held the banquet hall was destroyed and collapsed. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The community neighbors and vendors who use the space at Herndor Estate Wines say they are heartbroken, calling the fire a tragedy. As Manisa Denabalan tells us, four employees were injured in the blaze that took hours to put out. Massive flames took hours to contain and plumes of smoke filled the sky. The St. Catharines Fire Chief says it's fortunate that no one was severely hurt. There were four civilian injuries that occurred prior to fire's arrival. The injuries were due to minor burns and smoke inhalation. Crews arrived around 10 last night. Dave Upper says they got help from seven different municipalities and it took until 2 a.m. to control the fire. With winds gusting up into 65 to 70 kilometers, so this was a wind-driven fire which presented additional challenges to the crews. We knew between the weather, the structure, and the water supply challenges that we have that this was going to be a significant event. Today, crews were still on scene putting out hot spots. We went out and looked and we could see flames and um, it was uh, it was pretty awful to see your neighbor's business and everything go up in flames. Valerie McLean has lived next door for 15 years. She became emotional today saying the owners are hard workers and that many couples had their weddings and special events at Herndor Estate Wines. Bad enough they had two years of lockdown and not being able to use their banquet halls and then they just finally get a chance to open up and this happens. The cause of the fire is still being investigated at this time, but the fire chief estimates the damage could be over $3 million. He says the banquet hall and wine store were destroyed. At the front of the barn, they had the wine store and that was where the location of the fire, the origin, um, we're very thankful that we're able to save the production facility and the warehouse for them. The owners weren't the only ones impacted by the fire. Many small local businesses were taking part in a market there to sell their goods. It's called the Mom Market, and the co-founder says Herndor Estates rented the space to them to help businesses. You had the opportunity to come for one day or both days. Um, there were 34 very talented, incredible um, local vendors who chose a two-day option and their belongings, everything they worked so hard for was inside the winery when it caught fire last night. A GoFundMe page was set up to help many vendors who lost a lot of their stock when they were here at the mom's market yesterday. It raised over $20,000 so far. George's Woodworks was one of the small businesses in the market. The owners say they lost about $10,000 worth of product. Everything. Everything made was there. There's little tiny bits left here, but not much. <laughs> we sold everything from pens, custom handmade pens, to bowls, to squirrel feeders. They have another market next week, and they're scrambling to make more items to sell. A link to GoFundMe accounts can be found on our website, chch.com. Manisa Danabalan, CHCH News. And we're hearing tonight from the winery in a statement on Instagram, Herndor Estates Wine says in part, we kindly ask everyone continue to be patient with us as we continue to try and navigate these difficult times.